vegans get their protein? Many people are curious about this and in the beginning I didn't know where vegans get their protein. But in fact modern research proves that you can get all of your essential amino acids from plant foods. So fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds, grains, whole foods, lentils, beans, rice, potatoes, corns, beans, peas, lentils, 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 lentils. You can get all of your nutrients from all of these plant foods and you don't need to worry about mixing and matching your protein. Animal protein, believe it or not, is actually really damaging for the human body. It contains high levels of concentrated protein. So when we get too much protein, the body has to work hard to excrete all this excess. And we don't store it, and we can't um, burn it off, so the body just has to excrete it. And of course this overworks the liver and kidneys. They have to really seriously overwork themselves. And in the end, this consequently leads to liver disease, liver cancer, and kidney disease as well. Another thing about animal protein is that it raises your IGF-1 levels, the insulin-like growth factor 1 levels, and this is kind of like a catalyst to cancer. This helps cancer grow. It makes the cells multiply even faster, so it's seriously dangerous. Plant protein isn't so concentrated. All plant foods contain protein, by the way, between 5 and 20%, some even more, or com calories coming from protein. Now, all of these whole plant foods, I'm not talking about refined foods, like sugar is 100% carbohydrate, oil is 100% fat, but all whole foods contain all the macronutrients like fat, protein, and carbohydrate. Uh, most fruits and vegetables naturally contain, you know, about 5 to 10% of fat and protein, and the rest is carbohydrate. And meat doesn't contain any carbohydrate, and this is an essential macronutrient which our body needs because we run on glucose, our brains run on glucose. When we don't get any of that, sure, we can run on protein and fat, but not for very long. And in the end, you know, all the excess fat, cholesterol, doesn't do our bodies much good anyway. I'm not an expert, so please check out Dr. McGregor, sorry, Dr. Gregor, Dr. McDougall. Um, the China study, watch the film for those forks over knives, there's so much evidence out there these days. People are finding out about the benefits of a plant-based vegan diet and they're reaping the benefits. You know, it's powerful, you can actually reverse cancer, reverse diabetes. So check out Vegan Diet and please like, subscribe and share this video and yeah, eat lots of plants and veggies and broccoli and beans. And Broccoli, yeah. Come and join me in this vegan paradise, yeah.